Hello there guys and welcome to our 29th C++ tutorial. In this tutorial we're gonna go ahead and talk about um, we're gonna talk about exception handling and basically um, basically the user enters something wrong the value that we do not um, that we do not want our program to take as an input we will we will we will uh, tell him so he can make sure and correct it so today we're gonna talk about input validation and uh, exceptions so to waste no time and make this tutorial as short as possible and we should go ahead and get started so if you don't have this if you don't have your CPP file open and ready to go please pause the video and, and go ahead and do so like always we're gonna go ahead and talk about, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start typing the code and at the end we'll go over it okay let's go ahead and declare a variable here an integer variable and call it input next let's go ahead and type uh, whenever we type try let's just all we're gonna do is just display a message see out uh, input validation example so we're gonna see how print that out on the screen next we'll type throw uh, sorry throw one and let's say here uh, we are going we are getting out of the try block and let's put an end line here and underneath the try block let's go ahead and type catch and let's type here input or integer i so you see here this is underlined because it's supposed to be lowercase so I apologize for that and inside our catch block, let's go ahead and type the exception error number caught is, and let's go ahead and, and print out um, i. Let's end line. And let's go outside the catch statement and type. We are now outside the catch block. And let's put an end line here also. Maybe we should go up here and just type another message and let's say program start. So we know that the program starts right there. So let's go ahead and run this program and what we should see as an output is program start. We're gonna go inside our try, so we should see input validation example, then we should see we are getting out of the oh, out of the try uh, try block, then we should go inside our catch block and we're gonna see the exception number code is and we should see one and then we should see we are now outside we are I said not we are now outside the catch block and then program will delete I mean will terminate so let's go ahead and build this and let's go ahead and run it so we do see just what we expected all the messages and number code the number exception code is one alright let's go over our code very quickly here to understand it better alright so we declared the integer variable, we know how to do this, we've been from our previous tutorials just declaring the variable. Here we're just printing out a message, simple CL statement, and we print out program starts here, and then we have our try block. So everything we are, we have inside our try block is going to basically, if something goes wrong inside this block here, the program will, uh, the try block, if something goes wrong inside the try block, basically a, a user enters an input that we do not basically want to accept we, we can basically as soon as we get that input we can just jump straight to the catch block something will go wrong in our program and if we didn't have a try block or uh, this exception ha uh, error handling here our program would just terminate and we'll get like a runtime error so the program will just do something random and will go crazy but since we have this 
if, so, if, if, if something goes wrong, it will go straight to the cache flag and it will tell the user that there's something wrong. That's why we need this error handling, uh, just in case, because users get actually scared like that. If, if something goes wrong with the program and starts doing random things and displaying random stuff without them knowing what's going on. So we should always let them know what they did wrong so they can fix it. For this example though, we're just displaying the message here and we're, we're, we're basically throwing our own exception. Basically we're telling the program that give the catch statement number one and the, here we're displaying another message we're getting out of the try block and then we go inside our catch block here and usually we should make this uh, well here we're telling him that the exception error ha uh, that happened is number one since we gave it here number one but usually they have error numbers basically uh, we tell the user oh this error happened and, and then the user if they call their basically the guy that wrote the program or the company then they w they would tell them that they see this error number and they and they know what what actually went wrong and try to help them or we can also well this is a simple tutorial that's why we also we only displaying um, a number here but we can also tell them um, you did this wrong and we can take them back to what they did wrong so they can fix it and then make the program run correctly anyways this was just a quick tutorial on try and catch um, this was a quick turn on error, basically input validation and error c correction. So, but we will have a, we will have a couple of these tutorials, and they'll be a little bit more advanced, so you guys can see and on basically understand the point of try and catch blocks better. Uh, so, I hope you like this tutorial, guys, and please, please don't forget to subscribe. So, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and please check out all my other videos. Leave comments, and if you have any tutorial suggestions, please send me an email or leave comments. And please, please subscribe, guys, and thank you for watching.